Hello, DLC enthusiast. It's time for DLC. Words tangled. What's up, Skippy? Hello, I'm boring. Good morning, Daylight Savings. Oh. Killed myself in the speedruns, dude. This is Jeremite, but it is a... It is a hack that allows you to... Not have to use raw the robot. Daylight savings actually kind of messed me up. I woke up and it was an hour later, and it's still dark outside. And I couldn't sleep yesterday, last night. too long, but I don't know how hard the game actually gets. Especially when you're supposed to use a robot. I don't know what the expectations from Nintendo are. I imagine high expectations because it's Nintendo. I'm honestly glad I got to experience this game, because I've always wanted to play it. <coughs> I should be able to breeze through these stages. At least until 11. DLC that everyone paid for. Uh oh. I hate when that happens. Oh, 
don't know why I was holding A. I should have known a ROM like a ROM hack like this existed. They make ROM hacks like this all the time where you don't have to use a peripheral. That nobody can afford. Uh, this one only has 40, but there's also a, a game, game B, um, and there's 25 phases of that according to TMR sheet. He completed 40 phases of this and 25 phases of, uh, game B. Whoops. That's true. I just can't imagine this game is super hard. But then again, I, I won't be surprised. It's kinda like Wario's Woods where the game gets like inevitably impossible. Or at least from what I've seen. It seems like everyone was literally playing that yesterday. Yeah, I imagine so. I imagine this is just like a team effort here. Well, this didn't happen during the speed run. This is the game I practiced the least out of literally everything. I played it for one day. <laughs> like, didn't even look back. I think I probably did a couple runs. It's time for content. This is what we pay for. Uh, not really. Uh, the radish just lets you walk past them. That's it. Probably a little easier. I don't know. Nice content. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. This definitely does give me, uh... What was that other game? 
Wrecking Crew. Definitely big Wrecking Crew vibes. shows you the whole stage. Well, now what? Just kidding. Help me out, player two. Gotcha. There can't be a spike, dude. There's no way. I imagine this game is ex extremely challenging with another person, or even using Rob the Robot. Like, holy crap. That's actually sketchy. willing to bet you can get permanently stuck. Like right here. That's my guess. What would Rob do in this situation? Not do this. Game over. Good thing it doesn't matter. It's just like Wrecking Crew. Oh yeah, just like in, just like a GDQ. Okay, we're we're getting a little bit of depth here. I see. Do, 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 do. Do you believe the game's almost over? Not really. Clip two. That's funny, actually. Yeah, I think you I think she's doing it wrong for sure. I 
it, Zoker. There's only one way out of this. whether they climb the rope. You determine it, I see. Now we need our thinking caps. I think I did it right this time. I just need to not go down there. Well, now what? Saved. How many Wrecking Crew stages did I finish like that? speed at all while walking with this thing. I'll just use it as often as I can. so laggy. It's like a massive delay in every button press. Oh, by the way, I figured out what game B was in... Thank you. 
Happy McMorning to you, Esco. Welcome to Gyromite. Well, I can really go for our McBreakfast right now, honestly. He does actually kind of look like Colonel Sanders. This is Baldy. Game B, you just need, um, you just need points. God, it's so delayed. Ten years of input lag. I wonder why Colonel Sanders is collecting all this dynamite. Yeah, but you need 1,500 points to go to the next level, I guess. So you need- so the point is to make a long loop, instead. You wanna make the longest loop possible. I watched a speedrun last night, and the record is one minute. By Nescar. So you need dynamite to fry the chicken. I guess that makes sense. I never thought of doing that, and I'm going to attempt it this weekend. We'll use my own dynamite. Maybe they're just sparkling hot dogs. This rope. Okay, so if you just hold up, you're fine. Crisis averted. It's almost phase 20. This guy could jump. Instead, he just falls over on his back. No, there's a second level. There's a 3,000 points leaderboard, and then there's a 1,500 points leaderboard. I don't make the rules at speedrun.org. Do can I clip through this? No, I'm dead. Oh, it goes way higher than that. I see. Okay. I was not aware. Radish here, and pray he doesn't kill me. Okay. Oh, he seems upset. I'm scared. Wait, can I even get back up here? Keep eating your radish. Imagine this get, actually gets spicy with the robot or with the second player. But I'm already like halfway through. It was game A. Okay, 
so that has to be the last dynamite you get. So now you're just getting, like... Now you're at the point where you're getting punished for making the wrong decision, grabbing the wrong dynamite, or falling off a ledge. I guess mode C is the only way you can beat the game, though. I wonder if TMR actually beat this with Rob the Robot. I mean, I'm, I'm, I imagine he did, right? He beat Miracle Piano with the actual piano. Visit his YouTube page and see how he did Gyromite. That was an easy one. Holy crap. Well, you can be the first, Spanda. Yeah, I imagine he played the real game. I think, if anything, he used the second controller. If you get a max score, then, you know, no one will ever beat your time, because no one's going to play loops for 12 hours. Except you. Or you might inspire somebody, you never know. Why are the pipes moving so... They're moving, like, so fast. It's a less laggy stage, I guess. Easy too. I think I think it just depends on how many move at once. Like this one's really slow, like holy crap. Like, I'm pressing B now. And then let go of B. Look how long the delay is. Grab, he can grab ropes from one tile below, right? Okay. I had to be sure. Jeez, look how fast it moves. That is kind of funny. I'm so dead. It's the face off. Yeah, where they move horizontally, yeah. Or maybe not horizontally. I don't know how interesting that would be. 
So this has to be the last dynamite, I'm guessing. No, I know you meant the X and Y buttons, but they made me just think of it horizontal pipes. what they're gonna do for viewers choice in the next week 20. They put out a survey asking for feedback on like how people felt about like ROM hacks to, to kind of do what they did with this game I guess to make a, a goal. I guess opening up Zelda 2 or to do some of the later stuff or um like Ninja Gaiden where you start on a later stage or something like that. Just something since the popular games are always gonna be the same. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like the direction there. I mean, I I voted for it. I was like, yeah, I mean... Whatever you gotta do to keep it fresh, in my opinion. I don't think that hurts. I don't think that's very harmful. Not as harmful as touching one of these things and falling on your back. However, I did decide against more randomizer. vocal about my feelings towards surrender. Although I was really fair with it. I didn't I wasn't just shitting on it. I was pretty fair. I thought I was pretty fair. And constructive. Yeah, well, I think well, I think that's what they did with this list. So since they do it twice a year, they do viewers' choice second second go around, um, which usually drives more people to participate, um, from my understanding. So I think they want to continue that tradition of doing the viewers' choice and then kind of doing what they did with this list, um, which, in my opinion, the list was overall pretty good, um, outside of the very few. Joust is just like obviously an awful game. But, um, I'm not upset about a bad game. I was more just like against randomizer. I think, so, what I said, what I said in my feedback, more or less, was... I'm sure a randomizer can't have its place in a big 20 if it's executed properly, but, like... There's, like, a 10-minute variance with this randomizer. You either got lucky or you didn't. There's just too much, too much dice rolling. 
it wasn't necessarily the seed was bad or anything. Like, I don't think Dragon Warrior is even... I thought it was a... It's a decent and interesting game, and I like to play it. That's the, probably the only benefit it had, was making me want to play that game. But with a randomizer like Dragon Warrior, you have to have some sort of previous knowledge. I mean, you're basically relying on... You're relying on resources to make it through, for sure. Which, I guess maybe was mindset behind it. Right, exactly. That's like, basically what I said. It's like, without having the experience Dragon Warrior, it's a bit... It's a lot to take in. Because not only do you have to understand the game, you have to take the time to understand the game, which is fine. Then you have to, like, go off what this seed is supposed to be, and nothing's gonna make sense if you're, like, looking stuff up online or looking at the manual. You're just gonna get basic mechanic stuff. Or just how to play the game. I think they should probably stay away from randomizers, though. But obviously if it was like a Zelda 2 randomizer, right? Like, would have been fine for me at least, but... It's selfish to think that way. I've never played... Obviously never played Dragon Warrior, so I don't know how cryptic that shit is, but I did watch... <laughs> Then watch Infinite Mystery, like, brute force his way through the game. It took him a long time. Yeah, I heard that that wasn't even, like, the size of the normal map in the game. That adds, like, another layer of, like, confusion. Uh-oh. Think I'm screwed? Yeah. I should've wrote the- Yeah, I was watching him all day, yesterday. Off and on while I was- doing IRL lawn mowing. Um, I had a, f like, I knew he was gonna get to Star Wars, like, I just knew he'd get there, but I just didn't think he'd finish, because he was, like, it was giving him, it was giving him a hard time. There's just too much going on in Star Wars for it to be, like, it's the last game. It's, it's very... He got to, like, he got to Death Star Escape. Dude, he got to essentially the hardest part of the game. Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta think, like, Exhaustion, he was, what, 35 hours in? He got to he got to Star Wars thirty hours in. So he was probably already like you know. I don't know how he did Dragon Warrior randomizer without losing his mind. He got to he was on Star Wars for I think three hours, so I think maybe thirty two hours he got there. Because once he got past Dragon Warrior Randomizer, he, like, breezed through the next three games. Even G.I. Joe. Like, which I thought... 
I wasn't sure what G.I. Joe was gonna be like without, you know, knowing the strats or anything like that, but he... He powered through it pretty easily, it seemed like. Dead. Infinite Mystery is a true American hero. He's the only one with the balls to... Well, actually, there were two other people with the balls as well, but... Um... To do it completely blind, and not, not even attempt to learn anything, really. It's a pretty brave, uh... Pretty brave to do that. I don't think I could ever do it. I think if I was familiar with every game that was in the list that, like, I had played it before, and maybe even beat it, and be open to, like, learning stuff while I'm playing, but just, which is what the other two guys did. There were three people who played through it blind, and two of them were, like, practicing Star Wars during the race, and then they had to do their full run. Well, some some people were actually like two two of the other runners were like actually practicing Star Wars when they got to it. Apparently, I didn't. I wasn't like really watching them. I think they both did finish. Like, he, like, he's not looking up videos on how to do... I guess, but I guess, like, what, I'm, what I mean is, Infinite Mystery specifically isn't, like, looking up videos on how to do something, like, during his race. He's literally brute-forcing his way through it without, like, looking at resources. Thanks to Speed Tech. Oh shit. I thought I saw fucked. Oh, well, okay, yeah. This doesn't work the way I thought it would. It's fine. We just had to cram our face into the into the floor. I can make this work. Look at that. Insane gaming right there. No one would have ever thought of that. I, I feel like... I feel like Infinite Mystery is actually, like, he's, I feel like he's practiced some of those races. I don't know if, 
I don't know if maybe he didn't practice, like... Oh god, this is dead. I feel like I've seen him practice for some of them, but I don't know if it was Big 20. He's- I think he's done, like, Tiny 10. Um, I think he's actually practiced those games. I've seen him do practice before, I just... I can't recall it ever being Big 20, though. What's going on here? Am I missing one? Okay, there's one here. Has to be the last one. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to grab that one. And then go around. It's almost phase forty. It's also very difficult to stay up that amount of time and play video games for me. Like, I could probably play video games for maybe six to eight hours, but I'm usually pretty tapped after that. Maybe I'm not a real gamer. Last phase. This is it. Come a long way. One of the other things they were asking in the forum, or in the forum, was, um, I guess, like, um, oh, shit. I knew I should have waited to make this point. Um, they were saying stuff about, like, the, the, the type of game list. I guess they don't typically do a game list like this where they have, like, the... Like games like loops, I guess. Um that they they typically steer away from that, and I guess it's usually platformers. Um They're asking if the variety was welcome or not, and I said Yes, I think I think it overall it worked really well. Too much IQ on this. Alright, GG. Game A complete. How long did it take? About an hour. Not bad. But now I have to do game B. Yeah, so they did. They did ask about that. So it's specifically that they were asking how the how they how we felt about the RNG, and I said I didn't like the RNG, but I didn't mind it for loops and joust as much as I hated it for the randomizer. I think if there's like a little bit of 
I think with the, the thing is with Joust, like you'll lose time because of RNG, but it's controlled and mitigated. Um, loops, I guess you could argue, has more RNG. That's out of out of your control. Um, but I also think that that's not something that's entirely bad, considering the goal was twenty five loops and it didn't have to be in one game. But, I mean, there's more RNG in loops than there is in Joust. Yeah, so I think the goals in even when they, like, amended the goal in Joust to be, um, 20 waves if you died, like, it was a good thing they did that because... You know, even Overswarm died getting to 100k, so like... Okay, so game B. Oh, I see we've had too much KFC. We got the Itis. This seems pretty simple. Yeah, and then Wario's Woods doesn't have as, like, you can even go with Wario's Woods, I mean, that has RNG too. Climbing ropes while you're sleeping. Yeah, I think I'm okay. So I feel like I'm okay with RNG. I feel like I'm okay with RNG in the games that they had it in. I said, even though I didn't like Joust, I think even that was fine. See, depending on your exit. Well, they were probably worded better than I'm explaining them to you. I think there's, I think there's gonna be a lot more complaints about stuff like that. Um, I think a lot of people didn't like stuff like loops. There were a lot of people that didn't like it, and I'll admit that I didn't like it at first either. But, um, but honestly, it's not too bad once you really put some time into it. But... Oh shit! Well, how was I supposed to know? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I admit that I was doing that too at first, but you also kind of helped me understand the game a little bit better, so. It's possible that not everyone received that sort of help. I was kind of motivated to get good at it too. Interesting. Uh oh. This might be the hardest part. 
think there's 25 of these levels. Who knows? Oh, wait, can I control him? I can control when he jumps off the rope. What's up, clan? Hello and good morning. Just snoozing our way through, uh, Gyromite. Well, the anime girl is definitely sleeping. sound is that it's making. Pause buffered up. Well, he's definitely tucked in his bed and he's eating some fried chicken. Okay, I don't know what the what the arrows do, but they don't do anything. It just makes that sound. So I think you just stand there. Looks fine to me. I feel like this is gonna get extra spicy at the end. Yeah, we have options. I just hope you don't get, like, screwed because, like, you've made a bad decision. Like, what am I doing here? See? You barely have time to make a decision. Okay. 
Okay, so how am I supposed to make that fucking decision, dude? Unless I know what's coming next. That's bullshit. What would I do if I actually had robbed the robot here? assume you have to follow the arrow. Hitting the wall doesn't do anything. Man, this is bullshit! This isn't fair, man. This is just trial and error. I'm not gonna be able to get through this. If... It's just trial and error. I'm gonna have to like do it again. It's kinda cheap. I'll be honest with you. Well, there I could make an informed decision. There's 25 phases of this. It even has the same pause noise as Wrecking Curve.
I don't know if you're supposed to do that. What if he goes back up the rope? Imagine, imagine using Rob for this. Let's just imagine that. Um, he's supposed to, like, he, like, reads a signal from the screen and knows to, like, change it, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how, well, I guess, I don't know how he works for this game. Uh, I hit the wrong button, I guess. Well, that sucks. I accidentally hit start to unpause and then, like. Whatever. I thought this was a special edition. Can't choose which maps you want. Well, I guess if you pause the game and then you hit start, it it ends the game for you. Yeah, it, it is. It doesn't seem to work for... Unless I'm doing it wrong. Um, but even if you select the phase you were on... Like, it, it's tracking the phase I'm on. Because when I when I exited, I said 19 on the phase. Yeah, this is a full this is the full adventure for Colonel Sanders. This non-stop, never-ending quest to find the perfect KFC recipe. Going down, and I'll stay up. I think the two player game is like. Probably the ideal way to play this. Well, they're not really playing as. I don't know how this controls. It's just kind of literally a snooze fest. I see why he's sleeping, because I'm also sleeping. It's really easy to make a mistake here. I mean, this is a neat idea. Like, I guess it, the robot design in mind. I get it. But it's also kind of bullshit. But 
It's designed around a peripheral. And shell out, shell out all your monies for it. You ever just sleepwalk into like some random green thing? Me too. Wait, which which way do I go for this one? Okay. It was too late anyway, but yeah, it was this way. I wouldn't have been, if it was up, I would have been screwed. <sighs> There's nothing really, like, interesting about this game mode. You also just move too slow. It's delaying my streamer's content. What I was most looking forward to. We're trying to rob over here, MTI. Hello, good morning. I just decided to start with this. I don't know if I'm really going to continue to do it in order. But I could get just out of the way too. Decisions were made. Thanks for the resub. Enjoy your seventh month in the circus mode. Appreciate the good luck. I need it because this game is dishonest. Pretty salty about Funhouse. I'm not gonna lie. Satisfied with your race results, MDI? I hope so. Oh my god. I remember, select is unpause. That's true. I don't have to worry about accidentally breaking a rule. You know, of all the things I could have went wrong, I can't believe that went wrong. It's kind of annoying that that was... that was even a thing. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good. I'm glad you had a good run. I mean, I did too. The old, really, the only game I did really bad in was was streamers. I don't count Funhouse because that was just that was just really stupid.
Yeah, you, you finished right after me. Yeah, I think, like, I, I don't want to think about, think about it too much, I guess, but, um, I, I definitely would have finished top 10 without accidentally taking the warp in the funhouse. I was playing so fucking good. But it's, I don't want to dwell on it, because it's, it's whatever, it's not like... It's not like I played bad, and I can't really be mad. But, you could definitely argue that I could have just prevented falling into that warp if I would have just been more careful and maybe actually practiced that game a little more. But, I don't know, I mean, I guess something else could have went wrong. Wait, what? Oh, I was supposed to hold B. No! Supposed to hold B. What a death. You were the last level where you can use the land dino in the water with no cheese, dude. That's that's rough. At least you got through it though. Adventure Island could have been really bad, um, but I think it. I think I only had a couple mistakes there. That was probably the only other run where I didn't do as well in. Yeah. It sucks that I had to reset and lose five minutes, but... Yeah, that's like... That's what made it kind of... That's what kind of made me sad, is when I realized that I lost like five minutes on Funhouse, and like I probably... Oh shit. It's over. I wasn't holding A soon enough. I was overthinking this one. Check. 
It was like... I could have reset right away too, that was like the other problem. Scary one. We did it. Yeah, Trog. Believe it or not, Trog, I wasn't worried about. That was it. Beat the game. Nice gyromite. 